So then, we are back with the more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original documents of the Hebrews of old, of the prophets of Israel, given Gentiles and also the selected understandings of the time of the end. And with this understanding and the prophecies at the time, comes responsibility for each nation then to take their own subjects of what they have available as their means of then facing what's coming in the future prophecy-wise. And then as far as the nation of Israel, it doesn't take much for a person to understand what it takes to do Yahweh's agenda. As they were learned from the past, every time there was a prophecy and they did not obey, they had consequences. And during this time, first then came the first service. Moses went up to the mountain, received the holy laws, came down, started the first service. Then they failed to recognize then the Messiah and the understanding of the second services. At this moment, also we are doing the time of rebuilding as per then Yerushiahu, and we understand what it means. The situation is the world is pushing for a Palestinian state. And then Israel obviously in a renewed covenant Instead of maintaining the second services, they decided to return to the old first service. And as we understand, when we are not obedient to Yahweh, then there are consequences. It is a time of rebuilding. However, if they are not obedient and do what they were told to do because the time and the season has come, if they don't do their part, they are going to be forced to do what the world then is imposing upon them. Because the whole understanding of prophecy has to do with the obedience. They have to face the consideration of having a Palestinian state if they are not obedient. It was always like this during the time of Israel. When the prophecies were then given and the explanations were given and did not obey, then after a while they went in exile. And the nation many times was destroyed. So either they obey what the Messiah told them to do or they face with being forced then to be in a place where they must then recognize a Palestinian state. They have no other recourse other than obeying what the Messiah said and then granting them either if they don't obey then a Palestinian state or if they are obedient to grant them then the papers so they can stay on the land and be cared for. There is no other solution as per then the very prophecies gives them options. When they are not obedient, then Yahweh is not bound to be on their side. Because the Messiah, being Yahweh Yeshua, told them, go around the world and form holy cities. If they are not doing this, then they have no right of the land. Because it's based upon obedience, loyalty to the Torah, and also with what the Messiah said. So either they are obedient, they understand what Yeshua said, because he's the Savior, Yahweh Yeshua. And they begin to be obedient, and begin then to promote and understand those Gentiles, encouraging them to maintain the path of Yahweh. What were the last orders from Yahweh? He said, go around the world and form a holy cities. Are they doing it? Most of them are not. You don't have any right of the land. Because the time of the prophecy has come, so then a new era, a new period of restoration must come. And either they are obedient and they have the benefits, or they are disobedient and then they have to be forced of having then a Palestinian state. Because it was always like this. They can't have their way being disobedient. 
They were disobedient thus far because they were in a time of deceit. But the time of deceit is gone. Either they are obedient or they are going to be disciplined. Because it's based upon the obedience. They have to be obedient of what Yahweh told them to do. There was then a transitional time from the first and the second services, and we are transitioning back to the truth. So they have no choice. If they remain as they are, they are going to be disciplined. And the methods used sometimes, they are very harsh in terms of having a Palestinian state. They have to make space for them. Because they refuse to obey what the Messiah told them to do. It's part of the discipline. They can't have their way and then mistreat the people on the land where then Yahweh told them they could come to the land. However, they would be given then the corners of the field, but these days there are so many of them they must be cared for. And if Israel is not taking care of them as they were told to do, never mistreat the stranger, then they are forced then to push for a Palestinian state because it's part of the discipline for not being obedient. Then from this topic, myself, wash my hands because there is no more what to say. We are being legal in terms of understanding Yahweh's laws. He provided the strangers the corners of the field, meaning they were invited. As per the law previously, without this consent, they were to be outside of the land. However, He provided a way for them to come. And they would be then fed by the corners of the field. There was a meaning behind it. And the strangers were never to be mistreated. Then the time came for a transitional time from the deceit, thousand years, and back to the truth. They can't maintain what they are doing. They have to make a decision. The whole entire world is going through a transitional time. And then they are forced to have the state. Part of the discipline. And these are recorded in the Word. They can come against the Palestinians because they are legal. Legal per Scripture. Yahweh invited the people, the those who would come to the land and want to hear from Yahweh then they would be granted. It's in a word. And they should never be mistreated. And then Israel doesn't want to be obedient yet, they want to mistreat others. No. They have to be forced then to have a Palestinian state. They can't have both. Either they are obedient of what the Messiah said and then do what they must do, go around the world, form holy cities, and then take care of those living on the land, give them the papers, and then provide them infrastructure, trade, agriculture, and do what Yahweh told them to do. Or then they are forced with the Palestinian state. And Israel has no right any longer. These were the orders from the Creator. We can come against it. Read the scripture. First he said then to the people to go and conquer the land. Then because then many of the Gentiles want to hear the great name of Yahweh. He gave per Mits for those people to come and live on the land. Read the scripture. Then he said, don't cut the corners of the field and do the harvest. Then because then leave those for the strangers and the widows and the orphans.
And then when they are not obedient, then the land is subjected to other laws. As part of the discipline for not obedient to the laws of Yahweh. Yahweh said, go around the world and form a holy cities. And they are not doing it, and it's time of rebuilding. They refuse it. They have no rights of the land. That's why they were thrown out of the land for so many times. Because times of prophecies, they come for a reason. They can't use the name of Yahweh against other people because they have to be obedient themselves first before speaking of Him. So if they are not obedient as per what Yahweh Yeshua told them to do, go around the world, form holy cities. If they are not obedient, push for a Palestinian state. They can't continue on their path of junk and then ignoring Yahweh's words. They simply can't. Time of transitions, time of judgments, time of then when the people understand discipline, precisely what Israel did. They did rebel against the Creator and they got thrown out of the land. The time of the deceit is gone, ended in 2009, 6009 per the Creator's calendar. It ended, meaning then the truth is returning and there is then a turning point where then either they are obedient or they have then to face the consequences. Truly, it's in the hand of Yahweh, the situation, and the hand of the Palestinians. Because the truth was already said, there is nothing else can be done. Truly, what the Creator expects from His people is then obeying what Yahweh Yeshua told them to do. Recognize He already came a long time ago, completed His spring feast, told them to go around the world, form holy cities, and then teach the Gentiles. Understanding from the ancient times, don't cut the corners of the field, because those are also for the strangers, and they should never be mistreated. We are in modern times, there are lots of them, they have to work the land. Because Israel is refused, Israel yet is a rebel, and they tried to use the name of Yahweh for their own benefit. And they should give them then the permits so they can stay on the land. They have absolutely rights then as uh, Israelis, except serve the armed forces because they want their own state. So they don't use the army to overthrow the government, at least for some time. But then they have the rights as a normal citizen. If they don't want to do this, they don't want to be obedient to Yahweh, then they have to face a statesmanship. So the options are given.